Hello, and in this rather unusual subject, I want to cover Tommy Robinson um, being stopped on the uh, schedule of the Terrorism Act, Schedule 7. Okay, Tommy Robinson charged on the Terrorism Act uh, before far right, as they call it, march in London. And um, I wanted to find out whether you like Tommy Robinson or not. That's not the case. The case is the law and its rightful definition. My contention, okay, as I said and I repeat, is not whether you're a fan of Tommy Robinson, is whether you're a fan of truth and democracy. Okay, you have to put your emotions aside. Let's look at the charge that Tommy Robinson is under. On the Schedule 7 of the Terrorism Act 2000 gives police officers the power to stop, question and search people entering or leaving the United Kingdom at ports, airport, international, you know, borders, etc. The purpose is to determine if the person is involved in terrorism. Now, I've studied law, okay, I have a diploma in, in ILEX, one of the top, you know, um, government school you can have, okay, ILEX qualification, power legal. And so when I was a law student, I've always used to tickle, you know, <laughs> my teachers with, with, with the questions I used to ask but I won't go into it, it's too controversial. However, when that law was written, okay, first of all, we have to define what is terrorism. Most people, although they claim it's a political ideology, detect that section seven was about, I can only surmise, you know, violence, you know, bombs, etc. You know, nuclear or grenades. That is the proper definition in order to inflict fear into, into the lives of people. When you look at the Act 2000, which gives police officers the right to stop and question, okay, Tommy Robinson refused to give access to his phone. OK, he has that right to because, number one, why do they suspect that he was a terrorist? Why? Yes, he's an angry protester. Yes, he's an angry individual, but certainly not a terrorist. OK, and secondly, will that charge stick? I don't think so. I think they did it to ruffle him up, to shake him up, to put fear into him. But I don't think that charge will stick because any decent lawyer looking at that could see that it's a farce, total farce. The police, you know, the, the, the Terrorism Act of 2000 gives police officers the power to stop and question anyone, which means you or I, if we're traveling and they want access to our mobile phones, and we refuse, under that act, they can accuse you of terrorism without any evidence whatsoever. Without any evidence, they can say yeah, you're involved in terrorism. And under the act itself, you can be stopped. Anybody can be stopped. In other words, they're stripping away our freedom, okay? If you don't comply, you're a terrorist. How many people want to be labeled a terrorist? So immediately, here's my phone, here's my phone. You play the game. But Tommy Robinson, whether you like him or not, let's not get emotional in this video, he refused to play the game. And as a result, I'm gonna punish you. I'm gonna be a big baby and I'm going to charge you under the Terrorism Act. 
okay? Let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something, okay? This was a, a, a political thing that I did. I, obviously, I won the case, okay? And this is going back some time. And I was arrested. I, I won the case, obviously. But what, what, have, what happened was after I won the case, the, the, the police officers, I was cycling somewhere and I had information that the police officer wanted and to which they said, oh, if, if you don't give us the information, we're going to have you for sight without lights. <laughs> you know, making it sound worse than what it was. But this is, this is what they do. This is what they do. This is how they treat people who are involved in poli political, you know, dissertation or political differences. This is what they do to you. They, they pick up some kangaroo charges and they know it won't stick. As I said, any decent lawyer looking at the terrorism, you know, um, charge, right, will, or, or Act 2000, will know it doesn't apply to Tommy Robinson. Whether you like him or not, he's not a terrorist. He doesn't carry bombs. He doesn't carry manuals how to kill people. He doesn't, go, he doesn't board on planes, say, okay, I'm going to blow this, this aeroplane. He doesn't do that. So what do they mean, hold him under terrorism, terrorism Act, Section 7? What they mean is he won't comply. He won't play games with us. So we, we're going to be a spoiled baby. We, we, we're going to cry over it. <laughs> okay, I'll have you on this charge. It's all, it's all made up and it's designed to take away our freedom. It's designed that they don't like you. You now become a terrorist of the state. If you don't like it. Think about it. If you don't like it, you become a terrorist of the state. It's about control, controlling your mind, your thoughts, your freedom, having you live in fear that unless you comply, you're a terrorist. The only people who don't get accused of terrorism is the government. They're the biggest terrorist out, the biggest terrorist. They spread political ideology in the name of economics to control and suppress weaker nations. If they don't apply, comply, they're terrorists. The biggest terrorists that spread political ideology for economic gain are the government. But they don't get charged under it. Only you, the common folk, think about that. <laughs>